Some would say that right now the budget is being held together by stimulus money coming from the federal budget. It's going to run out pretty soon. And when it runs out, you'll be facing what? A $6 billion hole, maybe when you assume the presidency. What's the answer to that? I mean, that's a huge, you know, cut potentially in the budget on top of what's already been cut. Well, we agree, and that's why we want more flexibility out of Washington, D.C. We know the stimulus money runs out. We're going to look at alternatives. One of those would be that give us more flexibility how we enact programs like Medicaid. Washington, D.C. gives us all the rules, and they make us pay 45 percent of the bill. That's not right. We want to have the flexibility, just like we did with welfare, so we can administer a program that works for us, not the Washington, D.C. version. How much, let me, let me ask you, Senator, how much of the state budget does Medicaid consume? Well, overall, right now, health care takes almost 40 percent of our budget. It's grown dramatically over the last 10 years, not because of what we have done in Florida, but because of the new mandates and rules out of Washington, D.C. So we're watching this health care debate very closely because if they just hand down another mandate, a mandate, what does that mean? That means more taxes for you and I, which we can't afford at this point. And so what we want to focus on, again, is the idea, tell Washington, D.C., slow down. You know, let Florida react it and meet its problems, meet its needs first.